guess who's in trouble again? Mr. Logan Paul with his business associate and friend, KSI. Congress wants the FDA to investigate Prime. The energy drink has 200 milligrams of caffeine per 12 ounces, the same as nearly two Red Bulls or six cans of Coke. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is calling on the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, to look into a sports energy drink founded by social media influencers that has become popular with kids and teens. When they say it's become popular, it is beyond that. People are like the desire to have Prime is through the roof. This thing is selling out. If you know anyone with kids and ask them about Prime, it seems as if they're absolutely obsessed with him. Schumer's office called the energy drink a cauldron of caffeine. Many physicians have serious concern over Prime, and I write to specifically urge your agency to investigate Prime for its claims, marketing, and caffeine content. The Prime energy drink contains 200 milligrams of caffeine per 12 ounces, compared to 34 milligrams in a 12 ounce can of Coca Cola and 80 milligrams in an 8.4 ounce can of Red Bull, according to Schumer's letter. Several countries, including Australia, South Africa, the UK, Canada, and New Zealand, have already banned Prime Energy drinks or its caffeine-free version Prime Hydration in some schools. And here's how Prime representatives actually responded. Prime contains a comparable amount of caffeine to other top-selling energy drinks, all falling within the legal limit of the countries it's sold in. Prime Energy complied with all FDA guidelines before hitting the market and says clearly on packaging, as well as in its marketing materials that it's an energy drink and not made for anyone under the age of 18. That seems like a lot of caffeine if you ask me. But I also think if you're over the age of 18, you're kind of mature enough and adult enough to know what you should or shouldn't be consuming. You're an adult, it's kind of up to you. So at first, when obviously the government's involved, you're like, wow, that seems pretty crazy. But obviously, to even be on shelves, it's within certain legal bounds. And as of right now, this almost just seems as if they're particularly going after people with a big name to make some sort of political news splash rather than finding out something that is like quote unquote illegal. But once again, it just seems like politicians trying to get back into the news cycle, probably because they're trying to campaign for votes, if you ask me. But once again, I would love your thoughts.